Welcome back friends. In this video tutorial we'll be talking about horizontal gene transfer or HZT. So this is a kind of uh, what we can say it's a, it's a dangerous thing. It's like a hell uh, from bacteria by us because uh, this is very dangerous. This is the most important way of bacteria getting the antibiotic resistance gene from other bacteria. So let's talk about it. Horizontal gene transfer is not uh, a typical type of gene transfer that we usually see. What we know is that genes are normally transferred from our father to us or mother to us, right? So from inter-family, from one generation to another generation, right? So that's the actual thing we know. So if we are having, let's say, this is the generation 1. From this generation 1, we are getting it to generation 2. From generation 2, we are getting it to generation 3. And if I am in this generation 2, I am getting it from my father or mother and I am giving it to my child. This is the way of normal gene transfer, which, which is also called as lateral gene transfer. But horizontal gene transfer means transfer of gene between same generation. So it is very, very unique, right? So gene is being transferred from one individual of, let's say, this generation 2 to another individual of that same generation. So let's assume this is a bacteria, this is another bacteria. These two bacteria are present, both of them at a particular generation, let's say generation 1, same generation bacteria. Now, both of them are having bacterial chromosomes inside, chromosomes inside, and they are also having plasmids inside, right? So what they are doing here in this case, they can transfer this genetic material from in, be in between themselves, right? This thing is called as horizontal gene transfer. That means placed in the same generation transferring genes, right? Now, how can they transfer these genes? Generally, uh, we are talking about this AZT in bacteria because it's mostly possible between bacteria. It's not possible between human beings that I'm transferring this gene to my brother. It's not possible, but guys. So it is possible for uh, the lower organisms like prokaryotes, like bacteria. They can transfer their gene from them to the other organism of the same generation or other bacteria of the same generation. Okay, so what they're doing here, they're doing this using three important machineries, right? So what are those three machineries? So let me write those machinery. One of them is called as conjugation using sex pillars. Second thing is uh, transformation. That is the most important. I should have write in first place transformation and third thing is transduction. These are the three methods that the bacteria can transfer their genes horizontally from them to other bacteria of the same generation. So here we can see the process of transformation. So let's begin with that one or let's begin with conjugation. Now in conjugation what we know two bacteria will come in very contact to close contact with each other. They form a sex pillars or a sex tunnel between themselves. And through this tunnel, they transfer their genetic material. If I draw the genetic material, they can transfer this genetic material from this tunnel. And that's done. It's called the conjugation. Now, in transformation, what happens? A bacteria is there, and this bacteria is releasing this genetic material outside by cleaving this material into smaller parts. Or sometimes, yeah. So they release this material outside. Now, after releasing this material outside, this material can be uptaken by other bacteria that is present in the same generation. So they can uptake this easily inside the cell and th this new, this bacteria is now getting the gene of this other bacteria. Right? So this is the way of transformation. Now the third thing or transduction, it involves a virus. So let's say here is a bacteria. Now this bacteria is having the gene inside and a virus came in. And the virus infects this bacteria. So let me draw the virus with this other color. So let's say virus is sitting on there. And virus is getting this gene after the life cycle of virus inside. Actually, actually the virus is, in this case, uh, is called bacteriophage because they are attacking bacteria. So this bacteriophage virus, after doing the life cycle, is getting uh, the section of gene or the portion of gene of bacteria with itself. Then this virus will go. And if this virus attacks another bacteria of the same generation, 
So if this virus attacks another bacteria of the same generation, it probably enters that particular gene inside. So this is the gene which is coming from bacteria 1 to bacteria 2 between the same generation. So these are the three convenient ways of bacteria transferring their genetic materials from uh, them to other uh, members of that particular generation. Okay. Now another important thing here we can see. Now the, the transfer of genetic material may not be complete. Right? For example, if we imagine this is the donor bacteria, like in any case for gene transfer, obviously there should be a donor bacteria who give the gene and there should be a recipient bacteria who receive the gene. Right? So here in this case, this donor bacteria is giving, uh, may not be able to give the whole gene sequence to the recipient. For example, during the conjugation, during the transfer of gene from bacteria A to bacteria B, bacteria is the donor, B is the recipient. So from the transfer of uh, this from bacteria A to B, during this transfer, this sex pillars may have broken. As a result of that, the transfer of total gene sequence may not be possible. That's, that's the possibility, guys. And for transformation, most of the time, total gene uh, is not transferred. Right? Why? Because it's already been chopped out into smaller fragments. So, the recipient bacteria gets a part of uh, the gene from a donor bacteria. Most of the time, the recipient bacteria get the part of the gene from donor bacteria. Right? And sometimes they not only transfer their chromosomal gene segments, but also they transfer their plasmid segments that we have drawn here. Their plasmid segments. Right? And this plasmid carries vital gene information, not uh, the gene information required for maintaining their cell structure and shape and all these things, but they are having vital sections to have uh, different uh, agents like, like uh, antibiotic resistance genes. Now, if they are having antibiotic resistance genes in plasmid, and if they are able to transfer this plasmid via transformation or uh, mostly transformation and transduction, to the other bacteria of the same generation, they are successfully transferring it. And as a result of that, the, uh, the antibiotic resistance can be grown in very fast and exponential way in a particular area. Because remember, if somebody needs to obtain a gene from previous generation, and if only this lateral transfer uh, process is there, then it took a longer time for that population to get an important gene and it took a longer time for that population to evolve in a particular environment. But if they are able to carry horizontal gene transfer, it is very, very fast. They will get these characteristics very, very fast and they will get that particular feature. For example, here the antibiotic resistance gene occurrence is very, very fast. And not only that, the evolution of the population become very, very fast. And that is the reason bacteria and viruses evolve more rapidly than us. That is why it is difficult to treat bacterial infection nowadays because they are getting that antibiotic resistance. So suppose one bacteria is getting the antibiotic resistance inside and then he is that bacteria is transferring that antibiotic resistance to surrounding bacteria of that same generation, rapid amplification of the resistant property and that antibiotic is no longer effective at that population because that population is now resistant against that antibiotic. So that's why it's a ticking time bomb guys. It's dangerous. So never ever, this, this is a message from me to all of you, never ever take antibiotic without culture sensitivity test. That's a true thing. Whatever do do doctor you are seeing, whatever thing is going on, but never ever take this because it's a dangerous thing. It is taking us against every odd. Now it will bring us a day when no antibiotics will be there to treat a simple infection, guys. So that's why take antibiotics in your very, very, very own consideration without. Uh, so take antibiotics only after looking the culture sensitivity that whether the antibiotic acts against your infection or not. So that's a uh, simple advice to you guys. Telling this, I'm going to close this lecture. So that's it. That's kind of horizontal gene transfer. And thank you.